it's Dana from Dance and Be Equipment and I'm here in the Candleworks to talk about something that's very exciting I'm very excited to bring you. Have you ever wanted to make your own molds whether it be for candles or resin or any kind of art? Well we've got a great kit that is so easy to use and uh, produces a lot of different molds that you can do. So with our kit you have all kinds of options with the number and size of molds that you want to make. We have here the ones that I made from this kit about four to five medium sized molds. You can make a couple really big molds or you can make multiple really small tea light molds if you want. So you can see here that I did quite a few. There's a lot in there of fairly good sized candle molds. In the kit to start, this is everything you need to start your mold making journey. And in our kit, we have part A and part B. So these are the two parts that you need to get going. And we also have a wonderful instruction kit to let you know all the steps that you need to get into it. So we go and take you through step by step and show you the process of doing it. But I'm going to go through it a little bit here today to let you know everything that you need to do. Now you might ask, what else do I need? Because it can't be that simple. Most of the things that you need, you'll have all around your house. So you first need something that you want to make a mold with. So it can be, you know, a really cool vase. It can be, there's a candle that you saw that you want to repeat and you can't find that candle anymore. You can find knickknacks anywhere, something special like that. Uh, and you know anything really that you have at home. I would start simple something that doesn't have a lot of um, Corners to it. You want to get used to it. So something that's rounded and easy to do is is great to start You also will need I do suggest something like a mold release that can help you release the first time especially when you make your mold now when you have at home all you're gonna need for home care is um, something like a milk carton or you can use cups, you can use plastic containers, uh, really anything that you have at home as long as it fits your mold. You know, you want something, this is a little small, so obviously you're gonna need something a little bit of a different size for your mold, okay? You are going to need, plasticine comes in handy for different reasons, and again, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go through some process of how we're gonna do this. Uh, a glue gun comes in handy, you're also going to need gloves to keep yourself clean. You want a bowl um, or a mixer that you're okay with getting silicone in to mix the two parts, a spatula. Um, and then there's also different ways to make um, some containers for your molds. If these ones don't work or you have a really weird shape, I like to use, you can use acrylic uh, sheets. Uh, and you can also use wood if you need to. Um, I do recommend that if you use wood, you may want to coat the wood in some tape just to make it smooth because the wood tends to be a little porous. So we're going to go through all that and we'll be right back and start making some molds. What we want to do is I'm going to take you through this step by step. Before we even begin to mix our, our silicone together, we only have a half an hour really to pour this. So we want to make sure that all of our containers, all of our molds are set in their containers so that we can get going. So uh, I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun, make sure it's hot, uh, get ready to go. And then I'm going to pick some containers that I want to make uh, my molds with. So one thing I did forget to mention that we will want a knife as well. Um, because you're gonna you want to cut some of this stuff and we're gonna cut a couple other things so that's one thing I forgot to mention the first one I think I'm gonna try and do is this really cute vase here so it's got a neat shape and I think it'll be um, a fun uh, taper mold or something like that one thing that I did do so I'm making sure that all my boxes fit so I'm just testing my container and in this container it comes up slightly to this cap so in order to make sure that it doesn't uh, make a really weird shape or the silicone fills up nicely. I'm taking my plasticine and I'm going to fill in that hole right here. Okay, So we're going to put some plasticine in that hole. I don't know if you can see it right in there. Make sure I'm going to make it nice and flat. So you just want to make sure any like holes or imperfections are filled in. Okay. So that works like that. Now I don't have to cut this box down because it's quite 
um, tile. But again, the silicone is just going to come to the below it because we don't want it too thick. And um, so right there. One really quick thing that I'm going to mention is when you pour, so this is going to be, it's going to go this way. So again, this is the top of my candle. But when you have your mold, this is going to be the top of your mold. So this is where the opening is going to be. So we're going to make it so that the opening is nice and even. But we got to keep in mind when you pour your candles, this is going to be the op opening of your mold. So the opening where you pour your wax or where you pour your resin. Okay, for any of your containers. So then what I have is I've turned on my hot glue gun and I have this little square piece of wood that I'm not worried about the tape on because again, this is gonna be the opening. So I don't worry about putting tape on it right now, but I had different size pieces of wood and I just measured and cut it with my knife. And we're gonna place it on the bottom of my, of my model. Okay, so then that makes a nice square opening that makes it a little easier to pour your wax or your resin or anything in. Okay, so we're gonna glue the bottom. Actually, put some on the bottom here. Okay. And we want it nice and even so that everything goes on there. And then we're gonna just glue it right in the center, just like that. Okay. If you want, you can make sure that none leaks under by sealing the hole here a little bit. If you want, we can seal the gap just slightly all the way around and then the silicone won't leak under there. Just like that. All the way around. Oops. You could use plasticine around that as well. Um, the hot glue works really well. Okay, so when that's dry, oops, I put my glue back and I didn't need to do that yet. I'm um, also, what you have to watch sometimes is if your model is really light, it can float. So you want to make sure it's secure it down in on the container. These mostly are heavy, fairly heavy. This one's not, it's heavy-ish, but it may float. So I want to make sure that it's not going to float, so I'll end up gluing it there. One other thing is obviously this opening, we don't want silicone in there. So if you have anything that you, you can shape, you can model, like if you wanted to put pictures on there, you can model it with clay, the plasticine. But what I'm going to do just now is I'm just going to cover it really nicely with my plasticine. So I can cover the hole. And you want to make sure it's nice and even, but there's not going to be any silicone in there. So that, and then you even it out, make it nice and level. And if you want, like I could bring it all the way to the edge here as well, so that, unless I want that shape there. So you're just going to do whatever you want to even it out. Now that we've got that, we want to place it in our container. So again, I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm just going to glue the bottom around the edges and we're going to set it in here. Okay. And then make sure it's nice and solid and level. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's our first one done, and then we're going to set it aside, oops, and we'll double check it when we get to pour, and we'll do our other ones. I really like this cute little elephant, but I can already tell he's going to be too big for all my containers. He's not going to fit in. So this is where we can use our acrylic. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. Okay. So, I have all my acrylics over here, so I'm going to grab some of different sizes. And there's one, I'm going to make sure first that the base, so he's a good size for the base. Okay, so that works. But again, we don't want to use too much silicone, so we want to make it as small as possible with still having some good sizing. So, this one was done in, in one of our 
Tim Hortons cup, a bigger one. But it was a good size mold because the edges aren't too thick and they're not too thin, okay? So we can set him there as a, as a measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm gonna just draw where I want the edges of the mold to be. So that'll give me a, a guide of where I can glue these on. So like for example, if I set him there, I'm just gonna mark, so this is the edge here. So that's a good place so I can put that here or I can glue it here. And then this side, I just want a little bit on each side. Okay, so I'm centering them and I'm just gonna mark inside where I want this. I'm gonna try and make it as straight as possible. So we're gonna do just here. And then on this side, make sure that, yep, that works. Oops, make sure it's straight. I'll move it in a little bit, it's a little wide, there we go. Just like that, and then for the back, just gonna put it, oops, right about there. Okay, so that gives me a guide of where I can glue these on. I'm gonna start with the front one and I'm gonna move it all the way over to the edge here, okay? And this one's easy and I'm just gonna glue right on this side. Oh, I gotta add some glue. Actually, this is where a partner comes in handy. So I'm gonna call Ashley really quick. So Ashley's gonna give me a hand because sometimes this is helpful to have two hands. And I'm gonna slide that to the edge. Okay, so once again, now that my glue gun is full, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna glue this just like that. We're gonna make sure it's fairly smooth. And it's, we're gonna need to touch it up, but Ashley's gonna give it a, hold on to it while I add the other pieces. Okay. So this is our mold for our elephant. And then we're gonna set it, set him inside. One last thing, actually what I might do, because I, like I said, I glued the inside, it's a little bit um, chunky because of the glue. So maybe I'll just put a little bit of silicone, like I'll just do the silicone on the outside and that'll nicely finish the edges there. So there's one, one another mold, and then we can, he's pretty heavy, but I might just glue it around here just to um, make sure he keeps sticking to the acrylic. And then plus it'll seal it underneath so then the silicone doesn't um, get underneath. And again, center him nicely. Just like that so he's not touching any of the edges. And I think we're good to go. Perfect. All right. There's one more. Now chances are, I believe these are such, they're a good size, fairly large, that we, um, actually I've got four of them. So I think that this kit is gonna be enough for those. Now if you're not sure, you could set up a couple little ones just in case. So what I might do is um, put a couple little tea light stuff in these cups and then just in case I need them. So we're just about ready to mix our silicone. Um, I have a little extra tea light here in my cup just in case I have some leftover silicone. Um, I think we're going to be pretty good with what we've done here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the order so I know that I have enough for what I want to pour. So I'm probably going to start with, you know, this, this, um, it was my squiggly one. We'll do the other candle and then I'm going to do the elephant because I think he's really cute. And then we'll go to the gnome. If I want to do those later, I can always mix more, but I want to show you what you can get out of one of our silicone kits, okay? Remember earlier I mentioned that we want to coat with some uh, mold release? So this will help uh, if there's different porous materials and things to 
help you the first time, especially pull your silicone away from uh, the model, okay? And when I say model, that's just simply what we're using to cast the mold, okay? So I'm just gonna give a, a quick coating of, the, of each of the models, just inside on the outside to help release the mold, okay? You don't wanna do too much. So now we're going to mix our silicone. First thing you wanna do is you wanna put some gloves on. And I just use nitride gloves, latex gloves, whatever. You want some disposable because you don't wanna carry it everywhere, okay? So I'm not gonna measure because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the whole kit. Now this kit is, I'm gonna take off this, is um, a one-to-one. -one. And we always recommend you use the whole thing at once if you can. If not, you're gonna measure one-to-one -one if you have 500 grams of one, use 500 grams of the other. So it's the same basis. These are one kilo and one kilo, okay? So you wanna base it on what you can use, but as soon as you open this up, you wanna use it within three months or so. Keep it sealed. If it's not opened, you can it lasts for up to nine months or so, okay? So this one, we're gonna open up and I've got my V and we're gonna pour it in here just and you don't want to do it too fast you're just gonna scrape it out because you don't want to have too many air bubbles in there okay so I'm just pouring it in there just like that it really doesn't matter which order you pour it in if you do the A first I just happen to grab the B first but you can do A and then B as well Okay. So, pour it in there, scrape it all out. Just like that. Make sure you get as much as possible out of your container. Set it aside, put it back on so you don't get too messy. Okay, and then the B part. Now, because I'm going to mix them, I'm not worried about combining the spatulas. If you weren't going to mix it for whatever reason or you're measuring it, use separate spatulas for one and the other. So, because as soon as it combines, it'll start to harden. So, if you just want to scoop some out to do a part at a time, use step separate tools but if because I'm combining it all right now I'm just going to use the same thing so then this is part a and you'll see part a is clear so part B is the color and part a is the clear okay and again we're just going to gently pour it out and put it in my container there is no odor it doesn't heat up, so it's really great and easy to use. You can do it with your kids, obviously with supervision, but it's, there's nothing, there's no fumes. You don't have to do it outside. Um, so that, this is what makes this kit really great. So like I said before, this will start to set within half an hour. So you, this is why we set up the molds beforehand. We're gonna scoop all this out as much as we can. Okay. And there we go. Close the lid. Okay. It's always handy to have paper towels on. This, I know it's gloves, but then it doesn't get all over the handle and stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe my gloves off a little bit. So then what you wanna do is you just wanna gently mix. You don't wanna do it too fast because you wanna control the air bubbles. You don't want too many air bubbles in there. So we're just gonna stir, just, again, you don't want the air bubbles. So make sure it's all mixed in. Make sure the clear and the color is mixed in. So five minutes or so should do it. So it's good and mixed. I don't see any clear in there. All the greens mixed in. If it doesn't get mixed all the way in, you'll have wet spots and soft spots in your mold. So, give it a good mix. 
Now what I like to do, because this doesn't have a spout, I have a container that um, I will pour it in and it makes it easier for me to pour it into my, into my um, boxes, into my molds. So I'm just going to pour it in just like that to start. And I guess I should have mentioned at the beginning too, you want to put some coating on your table just in case you like uh, leak all over the place. So I just put some craft paper down. You could use newspaper, you can use anything. It's easy to clean up that way. Okay. So let's start with this one. I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute. So again, I'm just checking my molds to make sure they're not touching the sides and they're even. Okay, make sure it's nice and level. There's a few air bubbles and we're gonna start and we're gonna pour from the edge. So you wanna take it and you're gonna pour it not over the top, but through the edge. And you can do it very slowly. If you do it a little higher, it'll help get rid of the air bubbles. So we're gonna do it that way. Just let it fill up and settle. So again, this is a pretty tall candle. So now that it's just, it's covered my top, I'm gonna let it settle and you can give it some taps to try and get some of the air bubbles out. So you get, there's some large air bubbles coming out right now. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. It'll help settle it down. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. You can take your special just to judge. So it's like right there. So that's a good level for my mold. It's like the top is right there. And I'm just going to let it settle because it may settle into air pockets and stuff. And then I'll see if I need to add some more. I have that amount left. Now my decision is which one I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do the elephant so I can show and then we'll see what we have left. But I want to show you how this works with the acrylic. So let's fill up the elephant. Because it doesn't have to be too, too high, so we should be good. Plus, you can see it filling up with the acrylic. So we're going to start again just down here. So far, so good. So his butt's just underneath, and I'm gonna just bang some air bubbles out, pop them. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Now I have a little bit left. I think I'm gonna try this one because it's pretty big. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully that'll be enough for that one. Pour it on the side. All right, so that wasn't quite enough for this one. So I'm gonna make a little bit more just so we can finish this mold. But for your kits, the kit, two very large molds that you can make out of it, maybe a part of a small one. But like I said, if you did smaller molds, you can get four, four from them. Larger molds, you're gonna get a little bit less. So um, I'll come back. It takes about six hours for it to set, at least six hours. Um, we'll come back between 6 and 24 hours and we'll show you what we what our results are. Thanks for watching.